Hello students, in this video we will solve one example of Taylor series. So here we will find Taylor series representation of this function log x about 1. So first step is let f of x is equal to log x. So this is a natural log with base e. Alright. So let us call this as our equation number 1. Now we know that the Taylor series representation of f of x is so f of x is equal to about a about a is so f of x is equal to f of a plus f dash of a into x minus a plus f double dash of a upon <coughs> 2 factorial x minus a square f triple dash of a that is third derivative of f at a upon 3 factorial x minus a cube and so on. Let us call this as equation number 2. So now here we have to find values of this f of a, f dash of a, f double dash of a and so on. So here we will make one table here f of x is equal to log x and this side we will find <coughs> its value at 1. So f of 1 which is log 1 and that is 0 then f dash of x so derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 by x therefore f dash of 1 is 1 now f double dash of x second derivative which is minus 1 upon x square therefore f double dash of 1 is equal to minus 1 f triple dash of x will be 2 upon x cube and therefore third derivative of f at 1 is equal to 2 so likewise let's find value at this also fourth derivative of f of x and it is minus 6 upon x raised to 4 so fourth derivative of f at 1 will be minus 6 and uh, so we can see here we got one pattern here which is 0 so except first term you get this 1 which is 0 factorial then minus 1 it is minus 1 times 1 factorial 2 we can write as minus 1 square into 2 factorial this minus 6 minus 1 cube into 3 factorial like this okay so in general we can find what is nth derivative of f at x which is see minus 6 is what so this number is here no minus 6 2 so minus 6 we can write as minus 1 raised to n plus 1 or minus 1 doesn't matter right n plus 1 into n minus 1 factorial because look at here for fourth derivative 6 okay so 3 factorial for third derivative 2 factorial divided by x raised to n plus sorry x raised to n so therefore we get this nth term here nth derivative at 1 will be what minus 1 raised to n plus 1 n minus 1 factorial right so now we got all these values f of 1 f dash of 1 f double dash of 1 f triple dash of 1 and so on now let's put all these values in this equation number 2 and that is what 
or Taylor series representation of log x. So let's put these values. So therefore, now put these values in equation two. Then for f of x, which is equal to log x, will be f of one. f of one was zero plus f dash of one. One into x minus one plus f double dash of one. So minus one upon the minus one upon two factorial x minus one square plus f triple dash of one which is two upon three factorial x minus one cube plus f fourth derivative of f at one which is minus six right upon 4 factorial x minus 1 rest of 4 and so on so nth term is what so we got n the term also which is minus 1 rest to n plus 1 n minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial x minus 1 rest to n and so on and which is equal to now we can see it is equal to x minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 x minus 1 square plus 2 by 3 factorial is nothing but 2 by 3 x minus 1 cube minus this is 6 upon 4 factorial which is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 x minus 1 raised to 4 and so on okay all right this is a two not two by three it is one by three and continue like this this the nth plus one n plus one term will be minus one raised to n plus one now n minus one factorial upon n factorial so we'll get upon n x minus one raised to n and so on so this is what taylor series representation of log x about one or we can write this in summation form also so summation i runnings from what we can say i runnings from one to infinity all right x minus so minus one raised to now when first term look at first term when i is equal to one all right so the plus sign that means we add this here okay or you just, so just simply take this term here this is our general nth term so instead of n now it will be i upon i x minus one rest to i and you can check it here for example, when i is equal to 1, you will get minus 1 raised to 2, that is plus 1, plus 1 upon 1, 1, x minus 1, okay, the first term. When i is equal to 2, you will get this minus 1 raised to 3, which is minus upon 2, x minus 1 square. When i is equal to 3, we will get this third term, look at here. When i is equal to 3, minus 1 raised to 4, which is 1, 1 upon 3, x minus 1 cube, and so on, okay. So this is what Taylor series a representation of log x about 1. Alright, I hope you understood this. Thank you.